In this video, we're going to use triple integral to work out the volume of this surface bounded in the first octant. So, uh, so this volume looks like this. Um, at first, we need to understand um, what this uh, surface looks like. So let's imagine you've got a vertical sheet of paper. So this vertical sheet of paper would mean that x equals 0. So put 0 into the x. Put 0 into this x here. So the whole thing will then become z equals 4 minus y. So, uh, so on, this, on this vertical sheet of paper, it will look like this. A z, y axis, and the intercept is 4, a gradient of negative 1. So 4, a gradient of negative 1 would mean that this is 4. So that's why you've got this straight line here. So this would be 4, and this would be 4. And then uh, now, now let's try and have an understanding of what it means on the xy plane. So looking at looking at, at this xy plane, looking at this xy plane, so your graph will look like this: y x. Um, looking at this xy plane, uh, the the elevation would be z equals zero. So so you put zero into the z. So this whole thing here would then become zero equals this, which you know. Hang on, uh, my, which will be this, and then uh, make y the subject. So that would be uh, y equals four minus x squared. So uh, so this is a quadratic intercept of four, and it's a negative quadratic. So it will look like this intercept of four. So that means you you've got your negative quadratic here. You've got your your negative quadratic. I hope you can see that. Uh, so this th this four here is your intercept of four. Um, this must mean it's two here. This is two here. Well, that's what um, that's what this surface looks like. Okay. So now let's try and work out the volume. So set up the triple integral. So v equals the triple integral. And um, Glancing at this, let's do it with respect to x, uh, with respect to z first, because we want to move parallel to the z direct, the z axis. So we we want to move like this, as opposed to the x direction, the x direction or the y direction. We want to move it in. Well, glancing at, at this, I think it would be easier to um, to move in the z direction first. So so you enter z equals zero, and then you leave. This, you leave the surface, let's just say it's here, then you leave that surface. You enter, you, uh, you enter z equals 0, and then you leave the surface. And then you, you enter, hang on, you enter z equals 0, and then you leave that surface. Let's just imagine it's here. So, you, uh, let's do it with, with respect to z first, and let's arbitrarily choose dy and then dx. Okay, so now um, now the inner integral would mean it's going to be z equals something, z equals something. The next in uh, the next integral would mean y equals something, y equals something, and then the outer integral would mean it's x equals something x equals something so looking at the inner integral we're moving in the uh, along the z direction along the z direction so you enter z equals 0 and then you leave that surface you enter z equals 0 and then you leave the surface what is the surface what is this surface here well the surface is given by this so uh, so that would be you entering you entering z equals zero and then you leave the surface. Well, the surface is given by this, which would mean four minus x squared minus y. And uh, hang on, let me clean this up. Uh, let me clean this up. So, uh, so once you've done the uh, the z integral, once you've done the z integral, you're going to lose one dimension in the z direction you, you're going to lose the z dimension meaning that um, this whole volume will will, um, will collapse down to this plane here to this 2d plane 
So now we've lost the Z dimension because we've taken care of the Z. So now um, looking at this, we are going to move in the Y direction. So what that means is we're going to move like this in the Y direction. We're going to move in the Y direction. We're going to move in the Y direction. So what that means is we enter Y equals zero and then we leave this curve. We enter y equals 0 and then we leave this curve. We enter y equals 0 and then we leave the curve. So basically we need to know the equation of this curve. Well, if you're looking at the xy plane, the z elevation would be 0. So if you want to know about the equation of this curve, you should put 0 into the z. Put 0 into this z here. So the whole thing would then become 0 equals 4 minus x squared minus y. Um, I don't understand what's going on here, so let's make y the subject. Uh, so, so y would be uh, y equals 4 minus x squared. So the equation of this curve is, is what we worked out earlier. It's that negative quadratic where the intercept is 4. Well anyway, this curve here is given by this. So let's start again here. We're entering y equals 0 and then we leave the curve. We're entering y equals 0 and then we leave the curve, which is 4 minus x squared. Okay, so hang on, let me just clean this up. So, um, so we are currently looking at this 2D plane. We are currently looking at this 2D plane. Once we've taken care of the, the, the y, one, once we've taken care of the dy, we're going to lose another dimension in the y direction. So we're going to lose the y dimension. So this 2D plane will collapse down, will collapse down into this line here. It will collapse down into this line here. It will collapse down into this line here. So, uh, so really in the x direction, so when you, when you take care of dx, you're actually integrating from x equals 0 to here, x equals 0 to here, so x equals 0 to here, whatever that here is, this here, what, whatever this thing is. So what what is this thing here? Well, um, at this point here, at this point here, you know the z elevation would be 0, so hang on, let me clean this up, let me just clean this up. So uh, you know the z elevation would be 0 because you're looking at the xy plane. So you put 0 into the z and, um, and at this point here you know the y would be 0 because look, y equals 1 is here, y equals 2 is here, this y equals 0 would be along here. So you put 0 into the y, so, so the whole thing would then become 0 equals 4 minus x squared. So what is x? Well x is root 4 which is 2. So this thing here would be 2. So, uh, so you, you're actually integrating from 0 to 2. So the volume is given by this whole thing here. So the volume is given by is given by is given by this whole thing here. So now it's just a matter of, of integrating this now. So in the integral with respect to z, remember there's an invisible one here. So when you integrate the 1, it's z, and then uh, put this into here, uh, and then take away, put this into here, that will then give you, that will then give you this, and then, uh, and then, and then, uh, and then now integrate it with respect to y, so when you integrate this, it would be 4y, x squared y, and y squared over 2, and then put this into here, put this into here, put this into here, that will then give you this thing here, that will then th give you this whole thing here, tidy this up, I hope it will give you this, tidy up, I hope it will give you this, and then, and then now integrate it with respect to x, so integrate this, it will be 8x, integrate this, and then integrate this and then put 2 into here, put 2 into here, so the whole volume is given by this, okay?